The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. There. I could breathe again. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed.
So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them? It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. I didn't like to think what was behind the door. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. After I got out of New Jersey, things had flared up again between the Punchinellos and the DeMarcos. Didn't look like things would die down anytime soon. I was gonna have to stay away from the only place I'd ever known. Whatever they were looking for appeared to be gone. 